had a go at practicing the face proportions and you've had a go at trying out some shading and drawing an eye, a nose and a mouth. You can then have a go at trying to put it all together. Again, start with your egg and measure halfway. The light direction's coming from above in this picture. So. Sometimes it's easier to turn and measure on the side, just because if you're looking like this, the picture's foreshortened, so you can't see as well. And when you look at it upright, it looks quite different, because I'm thinking this one, this nose looks a little bit long because I'm sitting at this angle from it and it's moving away. It's hard to get the proportion exactly right. So I think if you turn it to the side, you can see that that's a bit more even. And I think that might be a better place for the nose. These sections here tend to catch the highlight. You might also get a bit of light on the top of the eyelid. It's harder to do behind the eyelashes. Drawing a face is all about the shading. So it's all about where the light's coming from. It's the same with anything really, whatever you're drawing. Where the light is hitting your object, so where the light is hitting your face. teardrop shape and the triangles, these bent triangles on the sides of the nose and this teardrop shape. highlights of the cheekbones and notice that every time I'm holding the pencil right back I'm using it on its side to keep my lines soft. It's not the most perfect portrait in the world, but I wasn't looking at a subject. This is just from my imagination and from the memory of drawing lots and lots of portraits. You obviously get a more accurate drawing if you were drawing from life or from a photograph. If you're actually looking at yourself in the mirror, then you can really see where all the shadows go and where all the features are and the distances between things and get the hairstyle right. It really is about looking very 
closely. But if you're trying to do just a generic face like this, it really makes a difference if you have an idea about where all of these features fall within the face and use your measurements. So have a go, see how you do. I am going to make a video to show you the journey that I went through on learning portraiture and becoming a portrait artist. And so I can show you some of my work. But I thought I'd just add a few of my charcoal drawings at the end of this video, just to show you how I shade the face using charcoal.